Hey guys, this is Ashley from Our Van, and today is day 14 on the Appalachian Trail. And before we get started on this video, I just wanted to thank all the people who have recently subscribed to our channel. And I also want to say thanks to everyone who has been following us and watching Our Van and stick, stuck around to watch our future journey. So I just want to say thanks to all you guys. We really appreciate you. And if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, you should totally hit that button. As you could see, we are slack packing again. And uh, just in case some of you out there don't know what slack packing is, it's basically when you have somebody else carry your heavy bags farther down the road and then you're able to just carry the essentials for one day of hiking. So we got these tiny little bags with just enough to get us to the end and we've got my dad still around probably till about the end of the Smokies. So we're gonna be doing a little more slack packing between here and there. So today we started at mile marker right around 119.5, a place called a Waya Bald, W-A-Y-A-H Bald. It's where that big stone tower was that you saw earlier. Awesome views up there. And uh, today we're hiking all the way down to the NOC, which is about a 17 mile hike. And uh, the NOC is the Natahala, Nantahala, something like that outdoor center. It's like a big outdoor store. It's a popular outfitter along the trail. I believe it's going to be the last big one before going into the Smokies. So it's a really popular spot. There's a hostel there and that's where we're going to get picked up today. And then we're spoiled so we're going to go get a night of sleep in the RV and uh, hit the trail again tomorrow morning afterwards. But uh, should be a nice hike down, down into the outdoor center and then up out of it, which we're going to do tomorrow. There's a huge change in elevation. We go down, a, oh, I think oh, well over 2,000 feet into the outdoor center and then tomorrow we got a crazy climb up out of it. So should be an interesting couple days here and uh, we'll take you along with us. Pretty cold here this morning. Uh, we're up around close to 5,500 feet up on the bald where we started this morning and there was ice all over the trees and uh, as it was thawing the ice was falling out this morning all over the ground. Uh, very slippery, icy and muddy on the trail for the start of day 14 today. about halfway into today's hike now and just approaching mile marker 130. And there's another one of these cool observation towers coming up. And uh, it's at the top of a mountain. It's called Wesser Bald, mile marker 130. And we've already seen two of these. We saw one just earlier today, which was at a uh, Waya Bald around mile marker 119. And we saw the fire tower on Albert Mountain. And uh, this one looks cool too. So. We're gonna get up there and climb to the top. Hopefully there's some real nice views. All right, here it is. Wesser Bald. Oh yeah.
Wow, Ashley, wow. how's it look? So pretty. I love it. All right, we're just now dropping down to where the outdoor center is. You can see all the buildings over to the side here. We're just maybe three tenths of a mile away. Look at all like the kayaks and tubes they have for rent. Yeah. It looks really cool. Day 15, back on the trail. We uh, hiked out of uh, Nantahala Outdoor Center this morning. And uh, like we mentioned, huge climb down yesterday and huge climb up this morning. We're probably three miles into it right now and uh, not even halfway up yet. I think it's about eight miles, almost all uphill, so. So it's definitely one of our harder climbs. Yeah, it's the longest <laughs> climb of the trail so far, at least to this point. I'm sure there'll be harder ahead, but uh, up to now, this is about as bad as it gets so but good news is the weather is beautiful today yes gorgeous day there's not a single cloud in the sky it's it's just it's perfect sunny and what's the high today i think it's 56. yeah the high it's sounds warm. cold but it's but so it's sunny that it's hot yeah it's, it's a hot day today beautiful. i'm actually regretting the long sleeve shirt which <laughs> i just went for a t-shirt today so uh, we're gonna keep pushing up this hill and uh yeah we'll talk to you a little farther up starting to get up real high now. So uh, we get some good views coming. Look at this. You can see all the little houses out on the mountains in the distance. How are you feeling, Ashley? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. Good day so far? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Well, we stopped for a quick snack on what I believe was called Chacoa Bald, or at least something similar to that. And now we're uh, starting to head down. So you know what that means, Ashley? What? That means the biggest climb of the AT so far is over. <laughs> and with these tiny little backpacks, it, it really wasn't that bad, honestly. It went, <laughs> it went pretty quickly. We've done much worse day hikes in the past. So yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, let's see if we can make it back before sunset now. We're going all the way up to Stakoa Gap. And uh, that's where we're pulling off today. So it's about another six miles up and we're just, just under six miles. So it's gonna be a 14 mile day today. And while we're here on this section, now is as good a time as any to tell you a little bit about how we know what's coming up. And uh, if you're an Appalachian Trail hiker, I'm almost positive you'll be familiar with this app. But for our followers who've been around since the RV days who haven't heard too much about through hiking the AT. Uh, this will let you in on this. There's an app. It's called Gut Hook, and basically, it's kind of like there's another app called All Trails that's like guides of hiking trails all over the country. And this one's a little like that, except well, one it's a lot more expensive. You have to buy the individual trails, at least most of them. And in this case, I'll, sh I'll give you a look at the app. 
So if you could see right in the middle of the screen there, that is what the app looks like. Gut hook with that little arrow. And if you click on it, it's a ton of information about the trail. And to buy the whole Appalachian Trail, it wasn't cheap. It actually cost $50 to buy the entire trail, Georgia and Maine. And uh, you download it in sections. So this is the first section I've got right here. You can see it's like Georgia and North and some of North Carolina. And it, it's just got everything. It's all the information you could ever hope to know on the trail. It's where you can find water, where there are hostels to sleep at. If you click on each individual thing, there are reviews on it. And sometimes if people have added a picture, there's a picture showing what's at the spot. And also you can click and see exactly where you are on the trail or at that little arrow. And you can click anywhere, see the mile marker you're at. And also besides just the map view, there's an elevation view. So at any time you can pull this up and see where you are on the climb. So that's how we knew we had a big climb coming up today. There's mile markers at the bottom of the screen. And we knew that we had this massive uphill today. It's actually like eight miles long between that dip and the top of the mountain. So let you in on our little secret on how we always seem to know the information on where we are on the hills. And uh, let's keep going down the mountain. Day 16, Stakoa Gap to Fontana Dam. That's the goal. This is our last day of slack packing and also the last day before entering the Smokies. So, Smoky Mountain National Park, it's a big section of the trail. It's about, I wanna say 77 miles long. And uh, the official start of it is right around Fontana Dam. So that's where we're ending today. There should be some nice views right around Fontana Dam. And also, there's a very popular shelter that comes right before the dam. I think it's called the Fontana Dam Shelter. And it's popular because it's, it has a little reputation as being the Hilton of hiker shelters along the Appalachian Trail. Because it's the only one that not only has an electric power outlet to charge your devices, but also it has hot showers. No other Shelters anywhere on the Appalachian Trail are gonna have hot showers and electric. So it's very cool. We'll have to check that out when we pass by. And yeah, let's keep uh, making our way to the dam. Good boy. How's that log smell? Good stuff. <laughs> You know, a lot of places along the trail, you walk over these tiny little bridges over streams that look like this one, and you always wonder, you know, how are these things engineered? How much weight can they handle? But you know, with this one, no problem. Because we got it posted right here, the Billy Goat Gruff Memorial Bridge. We got all our weight limits, how convenient. See that, Ashley? Look yeah, at that. Just make it. I think we're good to go. <laughs> one person, 300 pounds, two, 600 pounds, three people not allowed. Buddy, sorry, too many legs. <laughs> we're just starting to be able to see the dam now. Actually, I guess we've been seeing it for a couple miles now, but we're getting a little closer now. Not sure if you could see it through the trees there, but it should be like uh, right, right around the middle of the screen. Pretty cool, nice views all the way, and uh, some good views of the lake through the trees also. All right, we made it down. To the bottom of the mountain now, we're still a couple miles from the actual dam, but this area here, this first part is the Fontana Marina. 
And I think we're not actually gonna go, but there's supposed to be a good resupply opportunity right down there at the marina on the docks. It actually looks really nice. This is a really beautiful section of trail here. Just runs right along the shore of the lake for a while, at least a mile or two. And right here, we've got that shelter we talked about earlier. The super nice one, the Hiker Hilton. And right up here, we've got the bathroom with hot showers. How nice. Don't you wish we were staying here? Oh, I wish we were staying here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're just now past the shelter. We're walking up towards Fontana Dam. This section is super easy here. We're <laughs> on a sidewalk for about a half mile. And uh, yeah, easiest section of the trail yet, nice and paved. So, uh, also with a beautiful view. Oh yeah, and the view back here. It's just been along the lake forever. So, just about to enter the Smoky, Great Smoky Mountain National Park. And uh, that's where we're gonna catch up with you in the next video. Should be a fun one. We got a few days of pretty much all uphill. So not looking forward to that, but should be some beautiful scenery and uh, a really fun section of the trail. So, we will see you guys next time and uh, leave you with a couple pictures or shots of the dam coming up. Well, this is a cool view of down in the dam. Look at these giant doors and that really scary tunnel. That's cool. Crazy.